26 years ago, a small aircraft crash landed in a large swamp about 60 miles from the town of Sault Ste. Marie. There was one survivor, a tiny baby girl, and she too would have surely died were it not for the kindness of the geese that inhabited the swamp. For years they raised her, and then one day, a team of scientists discovered her and took her from her adoptive parents and returned her to civilization. She somehow adjusted. In fact, she became the first nursery school teacher ever to be raised by geese. So you see, Mrs. McCollum, I, I thought it best to tell you about Natalie's beginnings. Thank you, Dr. Loudon. You know, she's a good girl. A kind person, a hard worker, and we need her here at McCallum's nursery. The fact that this girl's mother is a small web-footed bird is of little consequence to me. Well, it does explain a few things, though. Like what? Well, the fact that her name is Natalie Ringneck, and she's been known to. Here she comes. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Loudon. I see you met Mrs. McCallum. She's been so good to me. Here. Oh, yes, sir. We had a very nice chat. <laughs> Do you mind if I take lunch now? No, not at all, dear. I'll go watch the children in the playground. It was nice chatting with you, Doctor. Oh. Natalie, I've uh, been to see your parents. Wonderful, Dr. Loudon. How are they? Did oh. you tell them I missed them very much? Oh, yes, I did. Yes, and they're fine. Did Daddy say? <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, oh and uh, your mother said to tell you to. Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> I bet she had it first. Did Daddy then? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, he's a jokester. Oh, you know, mothers. They always want their little daughters to be so tidy. Yes. Will you excuse me? You've always loved those little grubs, haven't you? Well, I'm trying to diet. It doesn't seem to work. Tell me, uh, Natalie, have you given any thought at all to your future? Well, Dr. Loudon, I've decided to dedicate my life to helping all those other girls who have been raised by geese. Help them adjust to the real world. Others? Uh, Natalie, I don't think there were any others, to be quite uh, honest with you. Well, there was a case of a, a boy in Texas that was adopted by a 1965 uh, eight-cylinder Ford oh. engine, but I, I don't think it's quite the same. Oh, oh my God! There's a wild dog chasing the children! Oh, I can't stop it! Then kill them! The dog will kill them! The... Strange girl, but you saved us. I think you found your place in the world. <laughs> 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 